This is the seated spinal immobilization scale. The equipment that we'll need for this scale is a short spinal immobilization device with straps, a C collar, and padding material. The recommended PPE for this skill are gloves and eye protection. Once I've gathered all the necessary equipment, I'm going to have one of my assistants place and maintain neutral inline stabilization of the patient's cervical spine. I'm going to have you continue to hold manual stabilization and assure that the patient is a reliable historian and not altered in any way. I'm going to assess motor, sensory, and circulatory functions in all four extremities. All right, can you move your fingers? Checking radio pulses. Able to feel this? Yep. Okay. Able to move your toes? Checking pedal pulses? Can you feel this? Yeah. Okay. Then going to measure and apply an appropriately sized C collar. And we'll get our short spinal immobilization device. And then I'm going to have my second partner hold on the torso and on heads count. We'll move forward and position the device appropriately. Ready? One, two, three. And again on heads count, we'll move the patient back. Ready? One, two, three. Now we'll secure the patient's torso to the device. Go ahead and put your arms up like you're holding the steering wheel. Very good. Equip that for me. We'll slide the leg straps into place. We'll evaluate torso fixation and adjust as necessary while securing the torso. We're going to have the patient take a deep breath in. We're going to tighten the straps by feeding them through to avoid excessive motion of the patient. And again, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. Once the torso is secured, we'll then pad behind the patient's head as necessary and secure the patient's head to the device. Once the patient's been secured to the device, we will reassess motor sensory and circulatory functions in all four extremities. Able to move your fingers? Yes. Checking radial pulses? You able to feel this? Yeah. Okay. Are you able to move your toes? Mm -hmm. Checking pedal pulses? You able to feel this? Yeah. Okay. We'll then move the patient to a long spine board, release the leg straps and secure the patient to the long spine board 
and reassess motor, sensory, and circulatory functions in all four extremities.